Hello there! What is up, my favorite people of the internet, my viewers, the Gold Glove subscribers? I am Gold Glove, man. Well, my name is Brennan, but I go by Gold Glove on the internet, and uh, I want to do this little video. I don't know what the gameplay is behind it, but it doesn't matter. I should have just done a vlog, but I didn't because I didn't. All right, so I'm gonna put some gameplay. I'm gonna tell you guys a little story, a story that happened yesterday. These sons of bitches. It is March. It was. It was exactly 9 p.m. on March 8th, 2012. Approxim I already said the time. Shit. 9 p.m. around there, right? I'm walking outside. What was I going to do? What What was I going to do? I don't... Oh, I was going to get some uh, energy drinks so I could stay awake and, uh, you know, stay up all night because my sleep schedule is so jacked up. I went to go get energy drinks to stay up all night long and then stay up all day. I failed. I ended up falling asleep at like 7 a.m. and I slept till like 1 p.m. So I, I fucked up. But I still tried. I ended up live streaming and all that stuff. But anyway... So I went to go to the store, and I, as I walked down my stairs from my apartment, and all of a sudden I feel this fucking excruciating pain in my lower back, and for a second I'm like, what the fuck just happened? Like, what was it? It, it, it felt like someone had bit my ass, like bit the bit right above my ass, like just a fucking bite. Just someone took a big old deep dish bite right out of my back, and I was so confused. I was just like, what was that? And then I realized wow this feels just like being stung by a bee and i turn around and i kind of like hit the area like because i'm like oh shit i'm getting stung by a bee and i hit it and i squish this motherfucking bee on my hand what the fuck is a goddamn bee doing outside in march the beginning of march at 9 p.m it's completely dark outside why is there a bee I'm pretty sure he was in my shirt or something, but how did he get in there? I had just been inside all day. That's not true. I had just gotten Chipotle. Maybe maybe the a couple hours previous, he had slid into my shirt somehow, hung out in there for a couple hours, realized he didn't give a fuck or he didn't like being in there, and he just stung the shit out of me. So my back started swelling. I'm not allergic, I don't think, but I kind of swell up. I don't know if that means I'm allergic, but I don't think it is. But my back, my back starts to like, wherever I get stung by a bee, I start to kind of swell up, and then it just goes away. But it's painful, you know? So it looked like I had two asses. Like, one, my ass, and then right above it, it was just a giant ass swelling. It looked disgusting. But I just don't understand why this yellow and black winged fucking devil came and decided to attack me at 9 p.m. in the beginning of, or in the beginning of March. Who does that? What kind of fucking thing does that? That's fucked. That is so fucked. I have a text message from Ethan Bach. You guys know Ethan. He says hello. Actually, he doesn't. He was actually talking to me, but he doesn't know that he's saying hello, but he is saying hello. But anyway, I just, I don't understand. Why the fuck did this bee try to attack me? What did I do to deserve this? You know, I thought about it. I was like, did I do something to deserve this? Do I have bad karma? Do I? I don't know. Have I done anything recently that, you know, warrants this? All I know is the bees are taking over. If they're alive, if they're the well, obviously they're alive. But they're if they're around and outside stinging motherfuckers at 9 p.m. in the beginning of March in the Pacific Northwest, you know that the fucking world is coming to end. This is it. This is over. We're done. This is the end of our time, ladies and gentlemen. This is the end of the world. When bees start fucking attacking me and getting my clothes and shit, and I and then and then and I had to clean this motherfucker off my hand. He he has the balls. He doesn't have the decency to not just sting me and fly away. He fucking decides that he's going to sting me and then he's going to allow me to squash him on my hand. So not only am I stung, swollen as fuck, but I have this goddamn bee guts and all that shit on my hand. Like, what an asshole. He didn't think this over. I don't appreciate it. You know, what was going through his head. And I'm kind of offended, to be honest. You know, if there's any bees listening, don't do that shit. It's not cool. So I'm just throwing that out there. But I wanted to make this quick little video to tell you guys the story of when Goldie got attacked by a bee at 9 p.m. in the beginning of March in the Pacific Northwest. Just so you guys know, mark it on your calendar. It's actually going to be a national holiday. I'm pretty sure. I've been talking to the National Holiday uh, Bureau about it. I think that's what they're called. Um, and they, they said it's, you know, it's a legitimate holiday probably. Maybe in, like, Canada. Because Canada's, you know, they don't really have that many holidays. So I think that's kind of where 
Anyways, I'm gonna go. Thanks for watching my video. I know it was random. I know there was weird gameplay behind it. It probably didn't make any sense to what I was talking about, but that's okay. My name is Goglove. You guys are my awesome viewers. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed, and I will talk to your sexy butts later. Goodbye!